Lee Nielsen makes fantastic hand planes, and this low angle jack plane is one of the most versatile. Now the jack plane is an extremely versatile plane due to its overall length and also this one in particular because the blade is mounted bevel up, it gives you a variety of options. The Lee Nielsen is based on the Stanley 62, which is 14 inches long and a blade that is two inches wide, uh, mounted at bevel up, mounted at 12 degrees. The front um, toe, toe is adjustable. I uh, simply loosen the knob on the front you can change the mouth opening uh, for larger or smaller, and then go ahead and just tighten uh, the, the knob back down to lock it in place. The cap iron is bronze, and the adjustment is a stainless steel knurled knob here on the back, and the knob and tote on the hand plane are a hand finished cherry, which makes this hand plane just an awesome looking and awesome performing plane. Now the blade in this hand plane is mounted bevel up and it comes razor sharp from the factory. Of course, some additional honing in your shop will Im further improve that edge, but it does come ready to use right out of the box. Now having that blade uh, mounted bevel up means you can change the angle of attack of that blade. So it makes this an extremely versatile plane. You can use it for shooting end grain with a low angle uh, through to using domestic hardwoods with a standard angle of attack and planing highly figured woods where you want to increase that angle of attack. And I'll go through how you can use different blades or you can put an additional uh, micro bevel or change the bevel on a single blade. Now I bought this hand plane about a year ago and when I purchased it I bought the full kit from Lee Nielsen which includes uh, multiple blades uh, that you can hone at different angles, a tooth blade for rough work, rough leveling, and a hot dog attachment which is great for gripping this for using it on a shooting board. Let me go ahead and show you the multiple uses uh, for this hand plane in my shop. Here is a piece of highly figured maple that's rough that I need to get ready to use in a project. And what's cool is that this hand plane can do absolutely everything I need to take this from rough all the way through to final uh, use in my project. First, I'm going to use a toothed blade for getting it level. Then I can switch to a straight blade for flattening and even final uh, smoothing on this board. If I need to shoot end grain, I can again do that with this hand plane. So let me go ahead and show you all the things that this one hand plane can do to this board. So here's my rough board and it has a hump or high spot in the middle that I need to take down and level with the rest of the board. I've got my straight edge here which easily spins showing me that there's a high spot here in the center. So I'll grab my jack plane with a toothed blade and go ahead and remove material mostly from the center and get the entire board uh, level in the same plane on this side. After a couple of minutes of traversing diagonally in both directions, I've removed almost a sixteenth of material from the center. I still haven't quite reached the ends. Uh, you can see where the tooth marks end. The end is still just slightly less than a sixteenth uh, below the center, so I've got just a little bit more to go. After about 10 minutes of hand planing with the tooth blade, I'm left with a flat surface all the way across. And a slightly scary surface uh, for this beautifully figured uh, wood, but the next step will clean up those tooth marks. Now let me go ahead and switch out uh, the toothing blade for uh, just a high angle uh, straight blade. Go ahead and clean out the bed here of all those shavings. And here I've got a blade honed at a 45, 40 degree angle, which is giving me a total angle of attack of 52 degrees. Got that in, I'll set it up and we're ready to go. After just a few more minutes, I've removed all the toothing marks. 
but I am left with these plain tracks uh, from the heavy shavings that I took. So it's time to set it for a nice light cut. I will rehone my blade to get it razor sharp and we'll do a couple of final smoothing passes. I've rehoned the blade to make it razor sharp again. Uh, I've set the depth of cut for a very light shaving and close up to the mouth to help with those shavings. After a few more passes, silky smooth. Now I know you guys can't feel this, but that is silky smooth. That is awesome. From rough to ready, all with a single hand plane, uh, doing all the steps on this board. That's what makes this hand plane super versatile. Now let me show you some close-ups of the back of this same board that I did with a standard angle hand plane. You can see some of the tear out there, and now the front of the board, there's absolutely zero tear out. That's great. Now this hand plane not only can do all this tasks on the face of this board, but of course it excels at shooting end grain uh, for squaring up boards with the low angle and the hot dog attachment makes it really easy for doing that. Here is a simple shooting board. I actually got the plans from Lee Nielsen and built this. Uh, and I've got the hot dog attachment attached to the hand plane. I've actually had it on there for the whole video. I don't never take it off. It doesn't get in the way for normal planing operations. And of course, the shooting board. This is where you can hold onto the plane, making it really easy to do this operation. I've put in a low angle blade, ground up at a 25 degree bevel, along with the uh, 12 degree bed makes for a 37 uh, degree angle of attack. And I've just got a simple piece of uh, cherry here. So just go ahead and run the cherry up to the edge of the shooting board and go ahead and take nice thin shavings right off the end of that board. Nice full length shavings coming right out the plane. That's awesome. Super easy to do, cleans up the end, makes it perfectly 90 uh, in no trouble at all. Now I've just shown you how awesome and versatile this Lee Nielsen hand plane is. The bevel up jack plane uh, allows this to do just a variety of tasks from rough to ready, uh, shooting end grain, this guy can do it all. And it's Lee Nielsen hand plane, you know it's awesome, right out of the box, ready to go. Now, you'll read a lot of articles uh, recently about how uh, if you're just getting into hand planing, this might be the first bench plane that you want to buy. Well, that's exactly what I did. About a year ago or so, I purchased this with the full kit, uh, with the multiple blades, the hot dog attachment, etc., as really my first premium bench plane, and it does a great job at that. It can do all those things that we've seen today. I believe there is a corollary to that argument, however. Uh, as you get more bench planes, this guy becomes a little bit less useful. Now you've got dedicated hand planes for the tasks that this guy used to do. I now have a big jointer plane that I use for flattening and jointing my boards. So I no longer use my jack plane for that task. I also have a smoothing plane, which I now use for smoothing my boards. So I no longer use the jack plane for that. So now my jack plane is really doing two tasks. Uh, is doing the rough flattening like we first saw with the toothing blade and that's exactly what a plane like this is made to do. However, a Lee Nielsen plane is a little bit overkill for that task. You're not trying to get things dead, dead, dead flat. So you don't necessarily need that awesome dead flat reference surface for that. I'm not saying this isn't a great plane to use. It is awesome. I'm just saying it might be a little bit overkill for that task. Of course, shooting end grain, this guy is awesome. The low angle, that's exactly what uh, this plane is built for, and it is great at doing that task. So just be aware, if you're getting into bench planes, uh, this can be a really great one to get started with because it can do so many things, but also be aware that if in your budget you're gonna be growing your bench planes, uh, just be aware of what this really excels at and make sure it's gonna be something that you want in your arsenal. So there it is, the Lee Nielsen low angle jack plane. From rough to ready, all in a single hand plane. You've seen how versatile this hand plane is, all the tasks that it can do, and of course, you're getting that Lee Nielsen quality. So it's not only gonna last your lifetime, but generations to come. Yeah.